of people, they cast their faves on you because they don't, they don't think that it's possible, right? If I can do it, I know you can. Welcome to Jack and DTV, where we bring the passion. You wrong again. Well, we bring passion. It's just well, we always bring passion. Well, we always bring the passion. Should be no, fine. it ain't fine. Now do it over. So what's up, y'all? Welcome to Jack and DTV. Well, we bring the passion. Oh my God! Why you keep saying that? Why is it so hard for you to say? Well, we always bring passion. Welcome to Jack and DTV. Where we bring passion. I didn't say that. Well, we always bring the. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to Jack and DTV, where we always bring passion. And love is everlasting. You hear me? It don't make no sense. We had to do that that many times. That's all good. They don't know nothing about it. What's they going know. on with y'all? YouTubers. What are we talking about today? Welcome to the channel. I got love on my mind. We want to talk about being together in love while being young and dumb. Not young and dumb <laughs> at all, but it's definitely a topic that is worth discussing. Uh, yeah. What do uh, you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. So you want to start it off? Yeah, I give my two cents. You know, I say you know it's tough out here being a young guy chasing his dreams and. And coming home being married, you know, sometimes I know she feels uh, neglected and uh, you know, I don't spend enough time with her because I'm literally on go all day, every day. So it's tough, you know, but um, and we make it work, you know. We, it don't always look the best, but we make it work. That's my starting two cents for you, y'all. Okay, in. well, you starting at being married. I'm talking about being together like literally like at a young age because me and james started talking when i turned 18 in december we started talking in january we didn't start talking we were just friends we was just talking i mean this i don't mean when i say talking i don't mean dating we was just talking we was just conversing or whatever um and then when i turned 19 that's when we actually got together he became my boyfriend he asked me. At first, he thought he was going to tell me, but I don't play those games. You ask. I can count on, I saw you. I can count on like one hand how many boyfriends I had in my whole life. And one thing to, to keep in mind is that when you're young and you like know that somebody is for you, you want to go with your... What, what, what would you say? Your conscience or your you know, gut? Gut feeling. You want to go with your gut feeling. Because it's so... It's a lot of people that's out here and saying, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all too young. You what you know about that? You too young. To... I mean, some people, that may be the case for some people, but for others and everybody, that's not always the case. So I'm, I'm going to start there. A lot of people... They cast their faves on you because they don't, they don't think that it's possible, right? If I can do it, I know you can't do it. You know, back in the day, we didn't have Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. And, I mean, none of that matter. I, I know what, what I got going on. Uh, I don't like people that much anyway. I don't like talking that much to people anyway. So I was like, hey, found what I like. Now I got to keep them. You know? So that was my tip. That's, that's, you know. And from a, a girl's point of view... Um, I never got in a relationship with the guy if I didn't expect the end to be a long relationship, if that makes sense. I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't just get together just for the, the moment. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't do that. But I never got in a relationship with somebody just because I felt like I needed to be with somebody. I always went in with the intentions of, you know, with it being long. So that was something that I always carried. And then when James came along and I knew that I would be able to trust him, even when he stayed in Arkansas and I was still in Alabama, then I knew, I knew without a shadow of a doubt that this was going to be something that would be everlasting, basically. 
Oh, is Everlasting Jackson? That's why it's Everlasting Jackson. But, babe, I want you to talk about, you know, when when you told Victoria that you was going to marry me? Like, were you saying that jokingly or did you really, like, feel that? And, like, how did you know? No, I don't know. I told her that I was like, in 11th grade. Like, I had a girlfriend and everything. So, I don't I think it was a, initially a joke, but, you know, they say you speak what you, you, you speak things into the atmosphere. So, there you go. But why did why did you speak that about me? You didn't even know, like you didn't know was, nothing about me. Oh wow, well, I got back then. Boy, if I said you said what I did, <laughs> said, said what I wanted and did if what you, I wanted. So it had no, it had no meaning. I mean, back then, in my mind, I was just like, I'm just just talking. I see a good looking girl. She like she got hair on the show. So I'm mad at that one. We all see it, fellas. We know what's going on. But yeah, I mean, I was in eleventh grade, maybe tenth grade. Like, who knew that I was gonna marry you? Like, I didn't even know I was going to go to Arkansas and go to school at the time. So, initially, when I first said it, was just like, ah, whatever. But, you know, when I got my shot, I took it. But that's that's what's crazy. That's what's right crazy to me yeah. is that you actually Coach. said that out your mouth and it actually became true. Yeah. Right. So, women, girls, don't never let a man tell you they don't know what they want. Because they know what they want. Either they know... They want to be with you long term or they know they're just ready to play games or whatever the case is. But they always know what it is that they want. Sometimes. No, y'all know. No, no. Y'all just can't be honest. Just be Sometimes honest. It's not about being honest. Sometimes things change. Right? People change every day. And so do people's feelings, emotions, and everything. So you got to take that with a grain of salt. Real big thing is just make sure you got a solid friendship because that'll last you a long time. That is true. I'm glad you brought that up. That'll that is true. That is true. Like what well, like I said when I say we're we're talking or whatever. We literally talked a whole year and like two months, I think, before we got into a relationship. And then from there we didn't get married to like a couple of years later. But the friendship is definitely the foundation that you want to have, especially while being young. You want to get to know somebody before just rushing into something. Um, like kids. <laughs> Why are you doing right now? Just saying. You want to. You definitely want to know somebody before rushing into something. Even and sometimes in more in some cases, you can be with somebody for a long time, or you can know them for a long time, and then something happens, and you just be like. I didn't know this was in you. Some people do turn out to be that way. I hate that they do, but some people do turn out to be that way. But um, one thing about being together, I'll switch it to being together while married. Like Jane said, being young. It is sometimes where I feel like I'm neglected. It's, 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 work. it's both ways. I'm sure I literally work from when I get up to when I go to sleep basically. I'm doing something. And that's the same thing for James. But the difference between me and James is that on weekends, I like to be more relaxed and kind of take a step back. But on weekends, James is like like nowhere to be found. And that's the that's the piece that's on there that's like kind of like I feel like that's neglecting. Because I know during the week, we on, we, you know what I'm saying, we on top of it. We got to get it or whatever. But on the weekends, he still be on go. And that's that's something that... That's something... You want to have a balance. You want to have a balance. And being young and trying to chase our dreams and being be in a position where we want to be in before we start bringing a family, that's probably the hardest part that we, that we deal with daily. Would you say that? Yeah, I'll definitely agree with that. And that's something that we got to work on too because that's not healthy. Not giving each other time is not healthy at all. So you definitely want to make sure that you don't put anything before each other, no one but God, but before each other, and that so that you can still have a striving, a successful relationship. Yeah. Because think about it, honestly, think about it. If you're always neglecting something or someone is feeling neglected, then that's not that's not a good feeling. That's not a place you want to come from. I would agree. How did you feel about marrying me, bro? You thought I was ugly in high school. Tell, tell people about that. 
Yeah. How, how that how that work out? But you like, damn man, him? Come on, how that how that shit got? I mean, yeah, in high school, like he said, he had a girlfriend. I had somebody that I was talking to. Well, he we was on and off or whatever. But James, I didn't look his way. Like I knew him through Victoria. He would come over her house sometimes. I'll just be like, you know, what's up? I feel like he came. I feel like she probably texted him and told him I was over there, and then he'll probably no, come by. That was my dog. I was always there. Yes. I don't know. Sorry, hell. But I didn't have like he was not attractive at all. He never had a haircut. He always wore basketball shorts, and it was just like this is no. So I didn't even think. I didn't think twice about it. But then he went off to college. Then he came back to that basketball game, and then. Here we are. Oh, yeah. But marrying James for real, honestly, it's some days now I still be like, I can't believe we married. I, I literally can't believe we married. Yeah. But I don't say that like jokingly, like in a bad way. James is literally like, sometimes I can't even explain it, but he's every woman's dream, really. <laughs> like he. I want to say that. Like he's respectful and he. I don't know. He just had he just had this drive about him, where it 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 just it has to be right. You know what I'm saying? He's not gonna he's not gonna react. Off, I'm I'll say this. He he don't act off emotions. He's a thinker. He analyzes things. Sometimes that though I hate that crap. Sometimes I do hate it. But being but being for real being being with somebody that literally think things out and being the man of the house and you want him to lead you, you want him to think things through and not just do stuff on the fly or not being responsible or not being financially stable or just doing everything under the sun because he is not there at all. And, and then another thing, he grew up around his mama grandma all his aunties so being around women he knew how to respect and honor me and that's like i'm not saying knew how he knows how to do that so that's something else that just comes with it if a man treat their mama good and the, the women around him then you should know that he will treat you good unless he just being fake sneaky sneaky fake unless he's just being fake he Shiesty. unless he in front of yeah shice unless he in front of his you know, family out whoop de doo and then get behind and just acting a fool, then that's different. But James is definitely everyone is true. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's, that's touching. Yeah, I don't never talk like this in front of him. I always talk like this in, to other people. So, oh, have you ever heard me say that before? Uh, I haven't. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome, buddy. I feel good about myself. There you go. Got a couple of your spouses. Got to let them know you love them. It's two years in the game. A million more to go. A million more to go. A million more to go. Dee Dee is also a man, every man's dream. All right. She cleans. She washes my clothes for me. No, nah, for real, for real. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. Marrying you is a little crazy. Like, I ain't, I ain't never think it was gonna happen. That's why. Uh, well, we made it happen. We made some shake. Uh, very, very supportive. I think that's the biggest thing for me. It's because, like she said, I, got to, I do so much. My drive is just go, go, go. I mean, it might be stuff she don't even understand. But she's like, hey, whatever. Just don't spend all that money. And uh, sometimes you need that. Um, it's always nice to have somebody that's super supportive. And, like, everything I did uh, when I was doing clothes and that's coming back. I mean, almost at every show that she could make. We driving from Florence to Atlanta for hours. I ain't, I ain't hearing the peak, no complaining. Help me set up, fold the table cloth. Like, I mean, you just need stuff like that as a man, especially an entrepreneur and a hustler. Uh, doing real estate right now. And, you know, she giving me different advice and stuff like that and actually getting me to help her and her friends. So, uh, you know, to me, that's that's inspiring. To me, to, for her to even believe in me enough to say, hey, we could you help us do this? Or, hey, could you help me do that? Or, hey, babe, can you reach out to this person and help me get this done? So... For me, that's that's the biggest thing. Her support, her drive, and, and also her, her kind of nurturing spirit. Every time I'm sick, 
she take care of me, like sinuses, <laughs> not. I'm probably too too tough. I mean, I ain't been to the hospital or the doctor in years, but I mean, um, that, just, in that access, you don't go get checked, but you still act like a baby when you get sick. I but don't, keep going, baby. I don't. And I mean, that's a, that's another thing. I mean, I'm sick. I mean, she'll stop what she's doing. I mean, she got soup or some science medicine or, or whatever the case may be. And then she, she, you know, she follow up on that. Like, you take that medicine like I told you to, or hey, did you do this like I told you to? You talking about that logo today? Hey, you get what you got. See what you, you know. Um, and then sometimes you got two people with real high drives and real high expectations, like you're going to butt heads. So, I mean, we do from time to time, but, I mean, to me, it's worth it. I'd rather really have somebody with high drive, a lot of motivation behind being successful like I do, versus like a bum that I got to take care of. So, yeah. Um, thank y'all for what you going to end it. You want to yeah, end Yeah, I mean, it? hey, appreciate y'all tuning in. Jack and D TV, you know what I'm saying? Giving y'all content once a week. Yeah, every week. Every week. Don't know what it's going to be. Don't care what it's going to be. Make sure you like, you share, you subscribe, you comment. If you want us to answer some questions, throw them in that comment section. Write me on the book, on the gram. Same as Shorty. Yeah. Y'all want to talk about some? Hit the line. Let us know. I know my boy want me to talk about the vegan food. We're going to get to that eventually. We're going to get there. Bam. Yeah, thank y'all for always tuning in. Um, and like James said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell somebody it's free. So support is free, right? Thanks. Support is free. Thanks. And I know me and James got a list of people that we've supported. So we definitely hope that you all return to faith. Yeah. Return the favor. Yeah. Bye.